this week's snow now means that some school districts are now out of calamity days. Today, in fact, was the last one in Kenton County. All happened in a hurry here, and now officials there are trying to do everything they can to keep schools open tomorrow. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick leading the way with the story from Independence, Kentucky tonight. Brian. Yeah, Mike, uh, they just cleared this lot here at Beach Grove Elementary yesterday, so it's driver deja vu. Uh, today, after this snowfall, it's like they didn't even show up for work. They had to clear it all again. For drivers, it's like, like Groundhog Day for groundskeepers. Most places, they're called snow plows, but outside Kenton County Schools today, they're racing machines. They are hustling to make sure that the sidewalks and the parking lots are clear. It's a salt spreading throwdown against Mother Nature in the school parking lot. If we don't get those clear and the temperatures freeze, then that snow becomes compacted and then it will be down for days. Intense snow at dawn erased an entire day's worth of lot clearing work yesterday, and the school crews weren't alone. Anyone who moves snow found a powder white clean slate to start today all over again. Crews working 12 to 16 hour shifts got no break from the routine, and some drivers couldn't catch a break either. Joseph Norris's FedEx truck took a turn for the worse on the ice. Instead of me going over in that lane, I, I didn't want nobody to get hurt, so I kept it over to the side and it just bounced off the guardrail, and it, by it being light, turned it upside down. Meanwhile, back at Kenton County Schools, testing today is on the tenacity of maintenance crews. They're a big part of the team that makes this happen, and I think a lot of people forget everything that our maintenance crews do. Old school elbow grease, keeping the avenues of education open. So, with the dropping temperatures, ice is a concern, but so is the wind. You can see it whipping around here. They're concerned about snow drift. So in addition to cutting off all the feeling to your fingers, it can also cut off some of the access to the school. So I'll be keeping an eye on that as well. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.